Hello my beautiful creative friends and welcome back. If you watched my latest video, you will remember this guy here. I um, added a little bit of more handles to the end of the tape today and made some extra holes. So I will be doing the same technique, um, just a little bit different though and you will see that in a minute. First, if you're a beginner, I would like to quickly show you what I do with the back of my canvas to keep it clean. Um, and after that, I will um, tell you what paints I will be using and then we will get started. The paints we will be using today are Windsor Blue by Windsor & Newton, Sky Blue Light by Amsterdam, Azo Yellow Medium by Amsterdam, Azo Pink by Pebeo, Vivid White by Pebeo, Olive Green Light by Amsterdam and Naptol Red Deep by Amsterdam. For my pouring medium, I will be using a mix of 95% Deco Art and 5% Liquitex, the effects pouring medium for a touch of cells. This is my base paint. It is Amsterdam Lamp Black, mixed with the same pouring medium as the rest of the paints. And what I want to do is, after I layer my paints in the funnel and remove the tape, Instead of holding it in the same spot, this time I will move it across the canvas. I wish I had made a little bit more paint to add right here um, just to have a little bit more to play with um, for composition purposes but I do have enough paint to cover my canvas and if you're a beginner and you don't want to waste a bunch of paint the easy way to calculate is with this formula you multiply the length and the width it will give you the square inches of your surface you divide that by 28 and it will give you how many ounces you need to cover that particular surface now if you are working on a gallery wrapped canvas and you are planning to cover the sides um, with paint because they are thicker make sure you add those to the length or the width and include them in your formula if you like what you see so far, please don't forget to like this video and if you would like to help my channel grow, please consider subscribing, I would very much appreciate it. It doesn't cost anything and it will help me out a lot, so thank you in advance. I like this. I think it looks pretty cool. I don't like that orange corner there, so I'm just going to tip it over and I shouldn't have. <laughs> so now I don't like the composition. I don't like the way the lines look. I think I'm going to soften them up a bit with a marble. I feel all these lines right now are too harsh and I like having a certain flow to my paintings. So all of these lines are completely interrupting that flow for me right now. So I'm going to use some marbles and maybe add paint here and there if I need to. 
um, to adjust the whole painting and make it flow a lot better together. Okay, this is turning out beautiful. I really love it. There's a lot more motion and fluidity to the painting. However, I don't really like that red abruptly ending over there. So I'm going to add a little bit more of the existing colors and try to connect it um, a little better. I think I'm going to stop here. I'm quite happy with it and I'm just going to soften this part a little bit and then I will leave it there. So let me know what you think about this painting in the comments down below and don't hesitate to ask any questions you may have or post any ideas that you may want to see me try in another video. And again, thank you so much for stopping by, for watching, and for liking and subscribing if you did so. And I will see you next time.